All right, I have um, a very unexpected video to make, and it was one that I didn't think I was going to end up making, but here we are. Um, around Halloween, I was contacted by a company, and I was asked to review some contact lenses. And um, as you guys know, I'm always down to review contact lenses because I love wearing different lenses. I love, you know, being able to do experiment with different looks and to... Give an honest opinion and tell you guys if the lenses, the company, and all that are good. Different companies have different styles. Some are more natural, some are more costumey. Um, this company actually has a huge selection, and a lot of them were really cool. I actually had a very hard time deciding what I wanted to try, and I finally settled on a few, and uh, I was super stoked super stoked, super excited. And then I waited and I waited and I waited and nothing came in. So I contacted them and I said, could you, you know, give me an update on what's going on? Because it's been about a month and no lenses have shown up. And they said, Oh, we sold out over Halloween and we're not going to do the, um, the Halloween type lenses for now. Uh, so we'll work with you later. And I was like, are you, are you serious? You weren't even going to let me know. You're just going to leave me hanging on until I contacted you, which to me is really unprofessional and really rude. So that didn't sit very well with me. And all they could say was, sorry, maybe next time. And I'm like, look, you contacted me. I didn't contact you. You reached out to me. You told me there would be a three week wait to start with one to three weeks because there was some storm and you wanted to be sure that, you know, uh, stuff was able to be shipped out. I agreed to wait. And now you're telling me pretty much right on time, maybe a, a week, it was a week or two more than the time frame they gave me that suddenly you're out of stock. Uh, -uh sorry, kitty cat. Um, suddenly you're out of stock and, um, I'm not gonna get what you asked me to review. I mean, that sounds probably really selfish, but that's, I, I don't mean it selfishly, but I, I do think it was really unprofessional. Like I said, they, I would have been fine if they had written me and just said, I'm really sorry. Um, we ended up selling out and running out of stock. Can I contact you again for something else later or something like that? But don't just leave someone waiting and waiting and waiting. Cause if I had never written them, I would have never heard anything. So I didn't expect to get any of the lenses. I wrote them off. I said, you know what, if it comes up, I'm going to let my subscribers know exactly what happened because to me that's a sign of unreliability and I'm going to let everybody know because I don't lie about the companies if they're not reliable or they're not good I'm I'm going to call them out for what they are I'm not going to pretend that they are better than they are just to help them sell stuff and that was a really bad start and um I didn't hear back from them and today just out of nowhere the lenses showed up so I don't know if the person I spoke to even knew that these were sent out to me or not, or if they decided to go ahead and have me review. I'm not really sure, but I decided I'm going to go ahead and review anyway because it's the right thing to do. And, um, you know, bad experience aside, the lenses are really cool, and I am going to give my honest opinion on them. So, firstly, let's start with the box. The company is called Seek. I guess that's how you pronounce it. The box is very simple. Um, I just gave one of them away. <laughs> uh, the box is very simple and they did not include any lens cases. These are the one and only company that I've worked with that don't think ahead and give you cheapy little free lens cases. So luckily I had a whole bunch from Color CL who do give you plenty of lens cases and I popped them in those. Also, <clears throat> Most of the packaging, again, is it's like this. It's very, very plain. Only two pairs came with this, which at least looks a little bit better quality. Um, packaging aside, though, the lenses themselves do look good quality, so I'm not going to say anything about the lenses themselves, but the packaging and the box leave a lot to be desired. They, I mean, it's very simple. They give you nothing special or cool to look at. Um, the 
the, the contact lenses came in just a brown cardboard box, like just a shipping box. They were just kind of put in the shipping box like this. And I mean, no bells and whistles, no, no thought at all into their packaging. If that's important to you, then, you know, it's, it's really disappointing. But again, the lenses look nice, so I'm, I'm not going to knock them. So the first ones, I have to look up their official names by the time I do the try-on. Uh, for now, I don't have the names in front of me, but I'm going to show the lens closed in the package and open in the case because I always try one on. This one is a star and moon. And that's what it looks like in the case and in the package. It just looks like this. Pretty much the same. These are lizard eye. These are really, really interesting. These look so creepy when you put them on. Very, like, demonic. These are just simple white screen. I've always wanted to try the white screen with the black ring. So these are just nothing special, but they are pretty cool. Second to the last are these black butler contact lenses and this one and the red ones are the only ones that come in a cool case and that's what it looks like these are very cool and lastly these are the red version I have a piece of makeup floating around in there These are, as far as costume lenses go, these are my favorite of all time. All right, so this first pair of lenses I chose to wear first um, because you can't really see them. Uh, I love the design. I thought if I had to choose between these and another pair, I was going to choose these over the other pair because I thought these were much better, but um, I never took into account how dark they were and how non-visible they are. So in my opinion, I really can't see the design at all. These are, I'm just going to read it straight. <laughs> these are the purple CL Phantom Hive two pieces annually disposable Halloween contacts. Um, up close, you can see the design right like you can see the purple and black and it looks really cool but from far away it just looks like black lenses in my opinion I can't really make out anything at all I don't really like these in the end okay these are the ones these are the ones that I thought were on par with the color CL um, these are also $30. These were not the cheap ones, so I was wrong about that. The cheapest ones are actually another mesh pair, so just keep that in mind. I look very cross-eyed with these lenses. <laughs> oh my god, that is not a good look. I got these originally. Um, these are called the um, White Moon uh, two pieces, you know, obviously. Um, I got these because I thought they looked really interesting because I thought, you know, they would look like black lenses with a white rim because essentially that's kind of what they are. Um, they are crescent moons with a star right here. You can't really see because I've got the, the bright ass, uh, that might be better. I got the bright light in my eyes, but, uh, I'm not sure which direction to put these in so that I don't look completely cross-eyed because no matter what I do, I look really cross-eyed and I don't like that look at all so I don't know what do you guys think mm, in theory I guess that's that's probably best but it doesn't look like moons it doesn't show the moon so I don't know if I ever wore these 
this is the way I'd wear them because otherwise it makes you look like you're really wonky eyed and I already look wonky eyed, but, um, I don't like these at all. Uh, when I first tried one side on, I was like, oh yeah, that's all right. They look like I thought they would. This was my first time seeing both <laughs> at once and looking straight ahead and seeing how extremely cross-eyed I looked. But, um, I mean, they're good lenses, just the design, once you put them on, that was really, really unflattering. And the last pair that I had on, the, um, the purple, uh, Black Butler lenses, I didn't realize how hard they were to see out of until I took them off and suddenly everything was bright. The pentagram goes through your pupil and even though the lines are very small, it does block your vision. So I just wanted to note that these are just your average, normal open hold, uh, lenses. This is them up close. And, um, so you can see where the, the pupil hole is. And I mean, I've got no issues seeing, but the other ones, they are very, very hard to see out of, but mm, yeah, I think this was a really bad choice for me. <laughs> that was awful. Oh my God. These are the cheap ones and I can see why this, I can't even wear the other side. Um, there's something in this lens built into the lens. Um, I don't know if it's, it was when they manufactured it, but I've been all over this trying to scrub this thing out. It does not come out. It's part of the lens. It's a lump of plastic, hard plastic. It's almost like one of the, the little mesh things didn't come separated like it was supposed to or something. I have flipped it in and out every which way I have tried to rub it down. I have tried to do everything in my power. It's part of the lens and it hurts so much. I can see why this cost, if I'd paid for it, this cost what it did. That was the most horrible experience I have had with a lens yet. Ouch. And these are the white mesh <clears throat> mini scleras. Mm. That was awful. <laughs> I had to go and try to tidy up my face. I've got two more pairs left and I don't know uh, if my makeup's going to run instantly. My eyes going to run cause it's already like damaged. Um, my makeup does not look the same now. I've completely, I don't know if it happens to you or not, but like when my eyes water, like whether I'm yawning or crying or sweating, I don't know, or something gets, in my eye, um, my skin gets really, I don't know, like, I can't really explain it. It's, it, it like stays wet and kind of shiny and slick. I guess that's a slick and water, not waterproof, makeup proof. And I can put makeup on, it'll just come right off. Um, the only way to get around that is if I wash my whole face off and do everything all over again. And I'm sorry, but I'm not going to do that for two pairs of contacts. So I'm going to leave what they've done to me right here. So everybody can see it. And then I'm going to, I still feel like I've got dirt in my eye. That was, that was, that probably right there would be enough to convince you guys not to waste your money here just in case you get a bad batch like that. I don't know what that was. I've never encountered anything like that in my entire life. That was horrible. But, um, let me open up the list again for the last two. And, uh, this next one is the second cheapest one. It is $15 and then the last one is another $30 one. So I will go ahead and put those on. Alrighty. Ooh. These are the gecko eye, gecko eye silver two piece. I can't see out of these hardly at all. Cause obviously they're just little slits. So I don't know if they're rotated the wrong way or not. I think this one's rotated a little bit. Um, I, love these lenses. I think these look so creepy and so cool. I've never seen anything like them before. So back to, aside from this unfortunate thing that just happened to this poor eye, I really love these lenses. These are my second favorite from the lot. And, um, these are so striking and so cool. And these would be great for all kinds of Halloween looks. These are really demonic looking and different and creepy and cool. And you can see, it gives you sight similar to if you're wearing a mesh lens, you know, with the mesh, you can kind of see through a haze of white 
or red or yellow or whatever color you're wearing, I see through a haze of white. So I can see better than I could out of mesh, but not good enough to drive or anything like that. So up close, this is what that looks like. And um, <laughs> I really, really, really am impressed with these lenses. I think they look so cool. I don't know what made me choose them, probably because I, I couldn't decide and I was torn between a bunch of other ones and this was like my tiebreaker, but I'm super glad I got these. Last but not least are my absolute favorites. Like I said at the start of the video, if I had to choose one, unfortunately I was going to choose the other ones not realizing that they wouldn't show up. Just because that's the color and that's the one I'm more familiar with. But these are the Red Seal Phantom Hive two-piece um, annual disposable lenses. And I love these so much. Um, here they are up close. Let me get my hair out of the way. So you can clearly see the design on these. You can see everything. These ones, um, my vision is not blocked like the purple ones. I can actually see quite clearly. I think these would be great. Like they look just red and then you get closer and it's like, oh, that pentagrams. So these lenses are the shit. They are awesome. They are cool looking. They are striking. They are comfortable. They're unique. They're everything. So I really, I really, really do like these ones. Um, overall, it's still a hundred percent a 50, 50 decision. If you guys want to try this company, um, the fact that I had this reaction to the screen lenses was a really bad sign. I've never had a reaction like that, but it could have just been a one-off. I mean, the lenses are obviously they're made by machines and there's always problems. There's always a risk of that, I guess. <clears throat> Holy crap, I'm losing my voice. But um, I've never had anything like that happen to me before. If I had paid for the lenses, I'm sure I could have written and been like, look, this has something in it and shown them the video or whatever and gotten a replacement. So, I mean, you know, then again, there's the customer service issue. I'm not really sure mm, because the customer service I got, they were friendly enough at first. It was just that lack of of communication that just really got to me. I just thought that was highly unprofessional. And the fact that they didn't seem to care afterwards was also a red flag for me. So I, I'd, I'd say risk it if you want to, or don't risk it. I'm sure maybe you can see these lenses and look for them on another site. Um, either, or, I mean, it's up to you guys how you want to do it. But, um, with the ones I have, I wish that the white ones were good because I, I have a thing for screen lenses and especially, the white ones with the black ring I'd always wanted to try and I don't even know what I look like in them because I can't even put both of them on. Um, when I did have it on though, your eyesight is almost a hundred percent gone. They're almost like blind lenses. Um, they're actually less than any other screen lenses I've ever tried. So I'm not really sure why that is. Um, the mesh doesn't look any smaller than on other lenses I've tried, but for some reason, you really can't see anything. So those are definitely a no go. And I'm wondering if that's why they're so cheap. There's just problems with them. But, um, yeah, that's the lenses. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you going to risk it? Are you not going to risk it? Are you going to look for the lenses on another site? Um, what do you think? What are your favorites from these? Aren't these cool as hell? And, um, yeah, I guess I will see you guys soon. Take care. And sorry about the whole mess.